Hi everyone, good afternoon. It's Friday afternoon and I had to do a series of tests to hopefully get a decent quality. Hopefully this is okay for everyone. And uh, welcome to part four of Building a Song Diary. We started already three weeks ago and uh, we're getting to, to a really good result, I think. First, let me make sure that we are live and that things are working properly. Uh, this should be on the home page, on my channel page, and I don't know if people will be watching this or not. I just want to make sure. Salut. Let's see, huh? No, oh, that's an old video. Salut. Salut. Yeah, no, no, that's an old video too. Um, well, I'm pretty sure we are live. <laughs> I guess we'll find out at the end of this. But um, in today's episode, really, there is not much to do but to listen to and, and share with you the excitement of what the project is becoming. I mentioned at the beginning of this that um, I want to create an instrumental song and there would be guests on this. I don't know if I can tell you yet. I might not be able to. But anyways, the song is designed to have a bunch of guests. Uh, at this point, there's six guests, guitar player guests, so I had to create some, some solo slots for them. Um, but really, there's more than that. There's eight guests. There's nine guests. Sorry, nine guests, really, because my friend Randy George, bass player for Neil Morris, added his bass part, so that's guest number seven. And then my good friend Toby London added his drum parts, which are awesome. That happened last week. In last week's episode, you can check that out. And uh, my my friend Fred Schendel from the band Glass Hammer added the keyboard parts. And so really, there's this is turning to uh, they're turning out to be quite good, and a lot of different guests on this. Um, what happened since last week? Well, I I found a cool theme. I think you remember I had one theme which was um, a kind of a, a chorus. I, I call this the chorus. I'm actually going to switch to my garage man right now so that you can see. Um, you should see my garage man window right here. Um, we, I, I had a theme in the chorus, which, which was this. Remember? And before that, we had the main type of riff. And I added those chords. Well, I found a theme, which is right here. gets into that chorus. I really like that theme. I recorded that yesterday night and I used a wah which was halfway open to get this kind of a uh, uh, noisy no 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 not the no nosy nosy noise from the nose. Um anyways, I really like that that theme. Kind of Sashirani inspired. Um that's where we're at, which brings me to um Something that I I, I kind of want to share with you. I, I love this part of the process of building a song. I see this more as as painting, a painter. I love that that arrangement type of thing where I listen to what other instruments did. In this case, I listen to Toby's drums because he did a really cool fill, um, which we're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mute his drums and I'll point out where this happens. Um, there's a lot of tracks. I need to clean up these tracks, but um, the theme that happens just before the chorus. That thing. This one right here. Well, I, I, I thought it would be really cool to double that. And so at the end of my theme, which I recorded, I try to add the, this uh, rhythm element. 
right there. And and that's a little detail. I spent a lot of time trying to get those uh, rhythm variations right, but I think with the whole track, it works really well. So let's go back to my Garage Band session, and we're going to listen to that transition again, but this time pay attention to the drum fill and the theme that transitions all together, making the track more smoother, uh, the, the different parts not as chopped up, but really a continuation within the track. So I'd love to do that. Listen. To that. This right here is the first solo section, which is not yet filled. Um, the first guest will play over that. Who's the first guest? Well, I can't tell you. The second guest did record his take, and, and I haven't mixed it, really. I, I want to add some, some reverb on this, but we're going to listen to that first, uh, first guest. So let's go back to our session, and um, that first particular guest did a great job because what I, what I had sent him, and I, I really need to organize these tracks, but when I sent him these, his solo section, this is what I sent. Starting right here. So see, there's a, there was already a, a theme here that uh, Fred Schendel added this this line. So um, that can make sometimes things a little bit difficult. But this guest, should I tell you who it is yet? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Let's see if you can guess. Again, this is not mixed. I want to add some reverb. But he he used the theme, the line that Fred had, and added his parts over. And I think. The result is is really really good. Let's check that out. So back to our session, and here is what we have. I, that that is that's I love that <laughs> I love this part. Let's mute it. That's incredible to me. That's like whoa. In context, man, that's so good. I think. Guest number two. And then it goes into that keyboard line. Um, I love it. I love it. So already two two guests out of six. Um, I, can, I can't wait to tell you. I can't wait. It's so exciting. Um, so yeah, the the song is really shaping up. Also, a lot of what I did uh, during the week was to 
really make sure that I had a very, very solid foundation. Um, there were a few elements here and there that were not as synced as I would want them to be, and that's it has nothing to do with uh, the ability, um, my friends, guests on this. It's just, you know, when, when I, I sent the original track to uh, Randy to record his bass, he was going off the um, addictive drum track that I had programmed, and then I sent that to Toby, and then sent that to guest number one, guest number two, and so forth. And so I, I spent a lot of time really with drums and bass, and, I, and and then I added Fred's parts. I think everything is really well synced up. Um, and once that was done, I, I could see some elements that I, that I started to uh, really want to expand on. Uh, kind of like that first section that I let you hear, Toby's fill, that I wanted to um, double with guitars. I did that on several points, parts of the song. Uh, before I let you hear that, I want to make sure that I am live and not just talking to myself here. Um, I don't I don't know with where this live stream is appearing. That's the problem. I don't even know if it is appearing somewhere. I don't I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. Um, that would be a shame if um, this was not live, right? Salut. No, I, I don't see this anywhere. So I don't know if I am live or not. I don't even know if I can read your comments to know if I am live or not. Well, I see that there's seven viewers. But I don't know how to talk to you or how to, how to read what you're saying. Huh. Oh, he, yep, yep, yep. Here's a, a URL, which I'm going to copy and paste. So it, it appears that, yes, people are watching this, which is good. Um, we'll get back to the regular programming in just one second, I promise. I want to make sure that this is going on. Yeah, looks like it is. Great. Yes, it is. Okay, we are live. Wonderful. And I see that some people are, are commenting too, so I'll try to keep up with the comments. That's going to be a little harder. Um, in the meantime, let me invite other, other people here. Um... Yep, okay. I just posted that on my Facebook. Excellent. Okay, so um, since, uh, I'm sorry about this break. I just want to ask about the sound. How is the sound for everyone? Um, are things okay when I, when I switch to, the, to GarageBand and all that? Are things working well? See, then this is a good test to see if I can read your comments real time or not. I don't know. We'll see. So far, I don't see any new. Yep, yep, the sound is fine. Great. Excellent. Okay, great. Well, let's continue. Um, sorry for the interruption. All right. I might not answer comments. I'm just doing this as, all right, truth comes out. Editing videos takes me so much time, and I was very, very busy with uh, Musician Bundle this week. I'll tell you a little bit more about it later. Some cool, cool progress. Um, and so I didn't have time to shoot today's episode, so I thought I would do it live. Okay, back to what I was telling you on uh, this this song. So we're going to go back to our session. And um, I want to let you hear again what happened here, the transition between the, the, the first part of the theme and the chorus, where I doubled Toby's drums. Let's, hear if you, let's see if you can notice that now that you know what is happening. So I'll, I'll play the song from the start. All right, so I'm sure you noticed that, that section where I doubled Toby's parts. Well, I did the same thing 
Um, I did the same thing somewhere else. Uh, two other other places in the in this song, and this time I actually tried to follow Randy. This is just something that helps keep everything more coherent, um, especially in this case where the song was um, built in a way that is not really organic. We're not all together. I started sketching the song and sent it here and there, and then I like to go back so that I can add some elements that make make that make the song blend together a little bit more. Um, that's something that I would strongly encourage everyone else to do, but uh, unfortunately, I don't know. We're gonna just, just try to see where this happens, because I can't remember. Maybe here? No, it happened just before uh, a chorus line. No, uh, I, think, I think it's here. I think it's this section right here. Um, let's check that out. You heard that? Let's isolate what I was going off. Um, I'm gonna solo the the drums and the bass. So Randy and and Toby here are isolated. And listen to this uh, fill that Randy did, and and um, that fill inspired Toby to play over that fill, and then inspired me to play with them. So let's check that out. All right. So this is this is why I got inspired to add my parts. So we'll add the guitar parts to this. I know everything is kind of spread out. We need to clean up that track, but let's let's listen to that. You know what I mean? Am I back? Something happened there, and I and I think I froze. Um, I hope I'm back. First time it froze, so that's I think that's a good thing. Um, let's see. Am I still there? Am I still live? Live. Yes, I am. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, cool. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I, I really encourage people to try that to take to to listen to other instruments and add your parts as if what you're playing was really planned with the others. Um, there's another thing I want to I want to let you hear. I'm gonna unmute all the tracks and I want to talk to you about. Uh, this chorus, Randy does something that's, I, I love it, that really differentiates the other choruses from that. And then uh, we'll end with the full full song. I'll let you hear the full song as it is now. Uh, but here's a, a standard chorus right here. Sorry, uh, I need to take care of that wherever it is. Which which part is it? Okay. Um, there's a one chorus where I, I love what Randy did. It's not that one. It might be this one. It's not that one. <laughs> Maybe this one. Maybe 
this one? I can't remember. No, I think it's this one. Uh, let's. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're getting a little lost here. Um, let's check out the bass and drums. Um, this is a regular chorus. And here's the chorus that I love so much. It's slightly different, but I love it. It's it's just a little happier than the others, and it bounces a little more. Context. I love it. Okay, well, now that we have all that, um, I I don't have much else to say, but by next week, hopefully I'll get some new guests, and the song will be pretty much complete, and then we'll start the mixing process. But right now it's more arranging things. Um, the first guest, the first solo that you hear, heard, that was um, uh, Osnoy. If you don't know Oz, check out his YouTube channel. Just just Google Oznoy, um, O Z N O Y, and check out check check him out. He's awesome. And the second solo is uh, James Santiago. Same thing. Killer player, so melodic. I love his tone. And uh, more guests on that later. You're gonna love it. All right, let's check out the whole song, and then I'll say goodbye. Well, I'll say goodbye now. I'll I'll leave you with the whole session. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget, next Friday, uh, episode 5 of this, building a song, and hopefully there'll be some more progress. Uh, I have been very busy lately with Musician Bundle. Check out the website and check out our Facebook page because um, um, my team and I are putting together a collection of, of software, high-quality guitar software that you know about. You know these software. I cannot tell you which software they are. Just to be fair to them because... Once the bundle comes out, June 1st, you will be able to buy all these software together, packed together, and they're geared towards guitar players, so we'll have, you'll have recording software, um, effects, amp modelers, um, some notation softwares, some awesome stuff, um, over $300 worth of software. And the reason I can't tell you why is because I don't want you to uh, not buy anything until the bundle comes out. I just want to be fair to the other companies. How much is that bundle going to be? It's up to you. It's, uh, it's a name your price bundle, so you can pay whatever you want and you'll get the bundle. Of course, we want people to pay a fair amount because if this first bundle is a success, we'll have more, but it's going to be awesome and that's why you're not getting so many videos. But thanks, thank you, thank you for watching this one. It was a pleasure. I will leave you with the, the full song as it is now, and I will see you next Friday. Please share this around and, and like my videos. I love doing videos, but they take a lot of time, and if you enjoy what I'm doing, and if you learn anything, or if I bring you a tiny bit of a smile in your life, then that's awesome. Please support what I do. Make a purchase on guitarplayback.com. There's a sale that is still going on. I can't tell when it's ending, because I want to build the suspense, and I want people to visit my, my site before it ends, but hey, it's ending soon. 50% off everything, guitarplayback.com. Thank you. You didn't watch this to watch an ad. Let's hear the whole song. I say goodbye right now, and until next time, see you.
Well, I decided not to let you hear the whole song. That way you can log in next Friday and watch the end of the song and buy it when it's available. I I I have I have exit exiting issues. I don't know how to say goodbye when it's not planned like that. <laughs> um, I'll see you next time. Okay, until then, till you. That that was horrible ending. Horrible. Let's do that again. Normally you have you know the the little boxes where you can click to watch the next video, but this is pretend that that you, you just leave, okay? That way I can make my 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 exit because I don't know how to. Just just go. I'm I'm, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> No, seriously. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I, 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 that's it. That's it. Have a good weekend.